lot of things has been happening since the death of George Floyd. A lot of manifestation, people are protesting all over the world. And then um, when I go through all the comments I see on social media platforms, when I read some comments, you know, it's not something to write home about, especially among the black community. As people are protesting, there are those on one side that it looks like they are not really feeling the pains and the hurt because the pain, the hurt, they are real, they are real. And you might be asking, why now? Why all this, you know, rioting? Why all this protesting now? Because since the history of mankind between the black and the white, there has always been this hostility. There has always been this virus, the worst virus that is called racism. It has always taken lives. It has always created a kind of demarcation between these two races. One race feeling superior over another and the other feeling inferior. Okay? Why now? Why now? I believe that the social media has also helped to create awareness. I believe that the internet has somehow contributed to what is happening now. And I thank God for that. I thank God that from this part of Italy, I can see what is happening in, in the US. I don't need to travel there to see what is happening. Why? Because of internet, because of social media platform, because someone had the courage to record and put on camera what is happening in that particular moment. And through media, uh, social media platform was able to you know, share it immediately. Global impact is happening today thanks to internet thanks to social media platform. But what baffles me is that one part of the community where the whole world is raising their voice, trying to raise this awareness, this, this, this thing that is virus, that is, that is killing people, killing people, that has been killing people. Then you see some comments coming out from, from some people. I don't know if it is insecurity. I don't know if it is, you know, indifference i don't know if it is insensibility why someone would just be you know counter-attacking the people that are out there protesting it is our right to protest we have every right to protest we have every right to say enough is enough we have every right to march out and stand and raise our voice so that the whole world will hear our voice it is our right to do so we enjoy a lot of privileges now because someone stood up during their own time. A group of people stood up and said, enough, enough, enough of all this racism, enough of all this you know, injustice, enough of all this discrimination. And most people are now sitting in that their comfort zone, enjoying these privileges, but forgetting that someone fought for that. You could not be sitting in the public transport side by side with a white person being a black. In those days, it was possible for us because somebody went out there and raised their voice. So many people were killed. Martin Luther King Jr. He died while protesting. Somebody like Nelson Mandela, he protested. He was in prison for 27 years. He protested. They did their part. They raised their voice, they protested, and today we are able to benefit from their sacrifice. Yes, it wasn't enough because me and you, we don't have to sit down and do nothing. We don't have to keep silent. Martin Luther King Jr., all of them, they, they protested, they contributed, they raised their voice. Imagine if they have kept silent. But it's not enough. It's not enough. We have to keep up the fire burning.